What's up guys? So today's video is gonna be about uh, working on this uh, motor um, like always but this time I'm putting the pistons in and I'm gonna show you how to or well, how I do the orientation for the piston rings on uh, on the uh, pistons so I already did one so the tools I'm using is I got the spring compressor or ring compressor uh, I got a bunch of assembly lube and uh, the, on the last video I showed you the um, rings already so I made a little diagram here just to illustrate what is uh, the orientation for the rings so that's the front of the motor um, C1 is compression one um, ring which is the top one and then uh, compression two would be the one right below that one which is that one down there and then O1 and O2 is oil um, ring one which is um, the very first ring and then oil ring uh, two is the one at the very bottom um, so that's kind of how I am going to do this. I know online there's a bunch of different methods or different orientation. Um, you know, I'm not really sure if there's a right or a wrong with their madness, but I've always done mine this way. Um, and these are all gapped already to the application of what I'm doing. Um, and yeah, I'll show you how that's done. All right, so with this uh, piston, I have a little dimple right there on the top of the head, or top of the piston, which indicates forward. So this is going forward here. And first oil ring, which is this one, I want to line that up to this direction right here on this point and uh, compression number two would be 180 away will be on this point so let me go ahead and line it up number one okay as you see number one there's that gap you see that gap right there there's the front and then number two would be on the opposite end is already there. See number two gap right there. One, two, and then uh, oil uh, would be this one down here. So as you can see, the whole thing spins. So oil, I like to have. So this is compression, compression, and then oil, oil. Okay, so that's good. So what I like to do is, I know guys use motor oil. I just like to use this assembly lube. And I kind of just go right on top like this, just lightly. All around. So that's all ready. Now I'm going to install the uh, bearings on here. All these parts have been pre cleaned.
There you go. And... Let me go ahead and get my piston ring compressor. Alright, so I got the bearing lubed up, I got the dimple forward, which is right there. This is the front of the motor, so I'm going to line this up. So now that the uh, piston's in there, see how it's facing forward, now I gotta just push it all the way down. There you go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and install the, uh, the cap on there. So same thing. Be sure to put some assembly lube on there. Get that all smeared on. And I'm gonna go ahead and get that from the bottom. All right guys, so this is piston number three. Okay, go ahead and lube the uh, cap, just like that. Smear it all over that part. guys so that's that now I just have to uh, torque down all the caps um, to the correct torque value and that completes the uh, bottom end of the 2JZ build.